Hey, welcome back. This is guitar self improvement. How far can I go by practicing the guitar for 20 minutes a day? This is iteration seven. So we have been practicing the guitar for seven months now. And uh, in today's episode, we're going to talk about D melodic minor. Um, all right, one thing before we start, you mu musicians out there, do you really like know the scales by heart? And, and do you know do your ears know the scale, your fingers? So if I tell you to play D melodic minor, you just go play it? Because I can't. I always have to decipher the melodic minor, say which notes get an emphasis and which don't, and upscale, downscale, and whatnot. Wow, kind of a drag for me, because yeah, can't do it by heart. Always have to practice, always have to look it up, always have to think about it. Anyway, so uh, here is D melodic minor played very slowly so you can enjoy it. All right, so that was the D melodic minor scale, just the one octave scale didn't play the position scale. As I said, it's kind of hard for me to play it by heart because the melodic minor up and down is, is really off to me. Okay, so the first piece that I played <laughs> is another piece by Jean-Philippe Rameau. And the last piece by Rameau I just skipped because I didn't like it. And when I started to play this piece, I also didn't like it, but it grew on me. It is pretty cool in, in a way. So here goes Riguadon by Jean-Philippe Rameau. <laughs> thing that we wanted to play, uh, we had to play, we were asked to play, <laughs> uh, is Lesion number 55 by Julio Sagreras. And uh, that is also an, an artist that I skipped before because uh, it's just, I don't know, for me it is just so tedious to play the chords and then do the finger picking right. I have no problem playing chords, but proper finger picking with the port, uh, with the chords is something else. So it took me a while to play this one okay-ish. Um, yeah, so here goes Lesion number 55. <laughs> So basically that's it for this iteration because I only managed to play one key. Uh, in fact, there is no other upcoming key in the method book. The next things that are in the method book are reading music in upper positions. And uh, for that I will have to learn the single string chromatic scales, which is absolutely super boring because you just have to play each fret on each string up to the 12th fret and I don't know it's it feels so off yeah I can do that bling 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 we just have to learn the notes on the fretboard I guess and basically it is it is 
for us to get introduced to the third and fifth position of the fretboard. And there is some exercise coming up and Ode to Joy to play it in the first and the third and the fifth position. You know what I'm talking about. Just, just play the same song in the first, in the third and the fifth position. Just a few notes. And it goes on, it goes on, it goes on. All these exercises um, to the highest note in position. Let me see. Joy to the world. Joy to the world. That's going to be the first piece of the next iteration. And it plays in the fifth position. Yeah, but we will see that next month. So let, let's talk about this month once more. Um, I'm, I, I learned a piece that I wanted to learn for a while, and it's just the basic melody part, main theme part of Tchaikovsky's Swan Lake. I'm a sucker for that. Maybe because I played Loom when I was younger. Maybe because I had a girlfriend that danced the Swan Lake. Uh, I don't know. It's just just such a great piece and um, it's it's like really wow progressive it's almost like metal in some way maybe not this version that I play for you right now but uh, I will find another version that has all the bits and pieces in there that I remember from Swan Lake and wow wow Oh, anyway, I'm just I'm just uh, babbling too much. Here is Swan Lake, my take on Swan Lake. Enjoy. Swan Lake, really nice piece. Um, all right, seventh month. Is there anything else I want to tell you? No. I kind of still feel that I'm not really doing any progress over here. It's, it's weird to say that, but it's just always just a couple of notes nothing fancy and I have a hard time playing it. I wonder how long that feeling will prevail. If at some point I can become a good guitarist or a better guitarist at least, I don't know. You will see my progress in a month. Bye-bye.